Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, KGFL Creations. As you can see by the title of this video and by the thumbnail, I purchased more of the new look patterns. Yes, yes I did. Um, last week I told you that I had to go like half an hour away to one of the Hobby Lobbies that is further out for me because the one Hobby Lobby by me, it was still not on sale and another one that it's yeah, fairly close, but it's a bit west, there's a lot of traffic to go that way. That one was also not on sale. So I went to the furthest one out and I did find a sale there. So this last week, <clears throat> I was still calling pretty much every day. I was calling Hobby Lobby to find out if the patterns was, were on sale. I called my Hobby Lobby, I think twice last week and it was not on sale still. And then I called the other one, I think it was Wednesday of last week. And they said, oh yeah, it's on sale. So what did I do? I drove all the way there and I bought some stuff, which is this package right here. This one here, I have 14. And then on Friday, I didn't call my Hobby Lobby. I was like, well, Friday, you know, after work, I left work, it was a bit late. And I was just going around. I'm like, you know what? Let me go to Hobby Lobby and check to see if the new look patterns were on sale. I did not call, I just went straight there. And when I get there, I opened the drawer, the new look drawer, and it was empty. Well, not really empty. It had all the little numberings, you know, the ones that stand up between all of the uh, patterns. They were all in there. I'm like, huh, they are no longer here. I'm like, where are they? So I looked around and I looked around and I went to the sale, uh, to the wall. Usually the uh, clearance is my Hobby Lobbies. They're always by the wall in the back. So I went back there and there they were. Yeah they were on sale. But by this time, there wasn't that many that I needed to buy anyway. A lot of them were just sizes up to a size 18. I tried to stay away from those because that will not fit me or it will not fit my daughter for sure. So I was looking for stuff that was up to a size 22 and that was this little, this little bit right here. So like I said, not much. So I'm gonna just show you quickly all of the um, patterns that I got. I'm gonna go quickly, quickly, so we can get to the end of this uh, new look pattern haul. Okay, so this first little baggie here, this this was the one that I purchased last Wednesday. Uh, new look 6458, it's a little set. This is for knits. And it's a pretty, pretty little set. 6517 is also a set, but this one is for woven. I thought that was really, really cute. Another set. At first I thought this was knits, but it's not. This is 6305, five or six, no, it's 05, 6305. It's, uh, it says wool blends wool type so it's pretty much I think for winter but I really liked this little this little one here you put on top of a you know a dress well the dress right here so yeah like this one now let's get into the shirts 6556 five, pretty set of shirts 6543 woven also little uh, shirts here. This one here, 6284. It's, it's like a peasant style. Uh, I think it's a peasant style, but I did like the uh, square neck. I did like that, the little um, neckline there. This one is really, really pretty. This is 6292. Nice and pretty for the summer, spring, summer. And it's a little set too, it comes with pants. Hmm. This is a top and a dress. This is N6607. Really, really pretty. A skirt, 6106. I did like the um, pockets 
with the little buttons on it. Really, really pretty. This one here. Now this dress here in 6650, this is what Carol calls the magic dress. I found it, I had to get this one. I don't think this is up to my size, is it? Oh yeah, it's up to a size 22. So this one should fit well. This is the uh, dress that Carol from So Carol from the UK, she makes a lot of, she loves this pattern here. <clears throat> this is a set of dresses for the spring and summer. 6210, this one here, pretty. Another little dress, 6500. This little one here. And two unisex uh, patterns that I got. This one goes all the way up to extra large, but because this is a unisex, it's pretty big. This is N6724, a nice shirt, unisex. And last one from last Wednesday is 6588. It's like a sweatshirt type deal for the winter. I think my daughter would like this one. She likes things with the, <clears throat> with the hood. I mean, for the guy, it doesn't have a hood, but I do like that one right there. So all of these were purchased on Wednesday. Not my Joann's, this was the other Joann's further out a little bit, maybe 15 minutes away from me. So that is not that bad. All right, now the second um, little baggie. I only have five here, not that many because I had purchased a ton already. So first one is 6232, also a unisex, nice and pretty. 6871, a nice blouse, sleeveless. Oh, there's one with the sleeve and some with flutter sleeves. Really, really pretty. This one here is for, um, well, I would say winter. It's N6706. It is a long sleeve tunic type, but this can be, can be a dress. I mean, the lady has pants on, really, really pretty, but this can be a uh, winter dress. And a dress that I found N6619. This is really, really pretty. I really liked this one. And last one is N6713, a uh, like a fleece jacket type t deal. Really pretty. It could be a vest. The guy has it as a vest and the lady has it as a little um, jacket, maybe with fleece or, let's see this one here. Sherpa, French Terry fleece, fleece double knit corduroy and sweatshirt knit. So yeah, good for our winters here in Florida. This last weekend, I was working on the Haskell shirt, but I needed to get some interfacing for the collar and for the um, lapel here in the front of the shirt where we put the buttons. And I didn't have any more um, interfacing, so I decided on Saturday I went to Joann's not the Joann's that I have close to on my way back from, from work. That Joann's is a pretty bad one. Sometimes I pass by if I'm looking just for something pretty quick. But then I went to another one, which is a little bit better. And oh my goodness, guys, I did something. I did something really, really bad. Oh, this is heavy. Look at this bag. Yes, I did buy a lot of fabric. It was on sale, to my defense. It was on sale. So let me show you what I purchased. I am going to pull them out of the bag one by one and I'll tell you how much I paid for them and how much I got. This was all in the clearance section of Joann's. They are all knit fabrics. So I got this here. And when I saw this one, I thought of my daughter right away because this is a color that she loves. I took a picture and I sent it to her and she's like, yes, please. 
get me that one. So this one will be a pretty, pretty uh, shirt for her. Maybe a regular t-shirt, maybe a long sleeve, maybe a Juliet something I'll get for her. This one here, let's see how much I paid for this one. Purple, I got three and a half yards of this one and it was $4.97 a yard plus a 25% on top of that. So it came down to $3.72. Yeah, $3.72 a yard for this fabric here. So I got three and a half, that's what she asked. Now, next one. This one here, I thought it was so, so pretty. It's a little uh, blue with the little polka dots, but the polka dots are not um, symmetrical. They are a little bit different. One are, some are bigger than the others. And I thought it was really, really cute. A little bit different. Yeah, nice little t-shirt. This one was the same thing. Ended up being $3.72. But some of them had end of the bolt. This one I oh, I wanted a little bit more. I think I wanted three yards of this one, but they only had two yards. And the end of the bolt it was a quarter of a yard, and that quarter of a yard came down to forty six cents. So for this one right here. Next is this, I think they are calling this one the black confetti double brush. These are, they. it's called double brush. They say it's double brush, but it's nice and thin. It's not a thick double brush. I thought this was really, really cute. Also, it was in the clearance section. This one, I also had an end of the bolt. It was three quarters of yard of the end of the boat in the three quarter of yard came down to a dollar and 45 cents for that one the three quarters of yard for this one so this one i ordered two two and three quarters of yard i got for this one here this is like a black gray with gray flowers. Really, really pretty. This one, let's see how much I got out of this one. Same thing in the clearance section. This one is, it says black paint, double brush. I got three yards plus a 0 0.972 of a yard. It's almost a full yard. And that 0.972, it was a dollar and 81 cents because it was the end of the boat. Yes, they were happy to give me all of the end of the boat. So yeah, really, really pretty. Make nice uh, shirts for me and for my daughter. And the last one I got, I saw this one here. This is not white. This is, well, it's coming out as white because of the uh, lights that I have here. I am looking to make a t-shirt for me. This will be for me, not for my daughter. Um, this is called Coconut Milk, this one here. This one was on sale only for the 25% off. It was not in the clearance. So this one came down to, I think it was like $12 a yard. But since I was looking for a plain fabric, a light colored uh, fabric. So yeah, I found this one here over there at the Joann's. Yeah, so that was the damage I did to my count. I have to wash all of this stuff, everything. Now that I have, um, I have entered all of this stuff, I did take the time to enter into my spreadsheet. So the total that I added this year to my stash was 41 yards and a half. That's a lot. 
a lot of fabric. So right now I am upside down on my uh, stash. I started with the number. I added 41, but I think I sold only like 26-ish. I'm not counting April yet, but from my last uh, video that I did, it was I think 26 and a half from uh, what I took from the stash. So right now I have more than I started with. But it's okay, it was on sale. It was a great, great sale. So yeah, I'm happy I got all of this stuff. It's nice and pretty. We can make a lot of t-shirts. I have to do some, I don't know if I want to do some batch cutting because when I did some batch cutting the last time, it didn't work out that good for me. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm holding my little uh, Joann's receipt because there's always a little um, code here for certain days to buy something on sale or get a 25% discount. So if I need some buttons or something else, I'll go to my joints that doesn't have much stuff there. So I don't buy any more fabric. So if you like this video, please hit that like button below. And if you can please subscribe, it will mean a lot to me. I will see you on my next video. Bye.